Happy Mask Monday. Happy Mask Monday. It's me and Mark. So today on this Mask Monday, I would like to share all the love that I have received since, uh, since I got into this accident. Mark's received some love too. And today, go ahead and we've got all these cards. I want to share this with all of you. Today, Mark is wearing the Acure Radically Rejuvenating Under Eye Hydrogels right there. How do those feel, Mark? Oh, just rejuvenating. <laughs> I'm ecstatic. <laughs> and I am wearing the two-day mask, the aloe soothing. So I'm sorry you haven't seen too much of me. I will tell you right now. I have not felt well, how about I? No, she's been sleeping quite a bit. Yeah, about 20 hours a day on some days, 18 to 20 hours a day. It's been really hard for me to stay up. I've got a few more spots that I have to get checked out, having some problems with the shoulder. So, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm excited because tonight's the last night for my shot that I have to give myself a, a blood thinner shot. So that's a positive thing. I got a cast off. I've got to get these uh, retaped. I had both forearms were broken. I got this off because this was just cracked. This one, as you can see, they did surgery and put a plate and screws in there. And then this hand was broken right here, which it's healed up fairly nice. And then I have to tape these fingers. And uh, both my legs, both my ankles and uh, my back on four levels and several ribs. So it's been really uncomfortable to sleep, but I'm getting there. I'm getting better. So, and I'll tell you what's going to make me feel better right now is... Uh, just looking at the love that y'all sent for me. So this is from Alice, from Alice Lynn, I love being a gammy, Grammy. That's from her. And let's... There's no quick way through tough times like this. It takes however long it takes. But there are friends to lean on, laughter to help us, Forget for a while and sometimes a little grace shows up where we least expect it. Just remember that this won't last forever. You'll make it through and you won't be alone. Aww. I love you, Alice. You know, when I was, when I was, uh, the first few days when I was, I didn't have family there. At first, a lot of my family members didn't realize I was there and Mark was put... Mark had a concussion. You can actually see here on my arm, you can see right there is his teeth marks from when he swung over in the car accident and hit me in the chest. And so Mark has been suffering from a um, concussion himself, eh, Mark? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So we've been helping each other through this. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. This next one, this is from... Jane T. Bird, Statesboro, Georgia. Wow. Let's see. It's hard to find words to adequately describe a friend like you. But the words, ne the words never a dull moment do come in mind. Dear Connie. Oh, this is from Jessica and Tracy. Dear Connie, I just wanted to send you lots of love. And positive vibes for a super fast recovery for a super woman. Love you bunches. Oh, Jessica and Tracy. Isn't that awesome? Thank you, Jess. That's from Jess Jessica. Let me read this, what Alice said to me. This is from Alice. She helped me through. I, I, I'll probably, I hope I don't start crying because her and Teresa and Jen, 
really helped me through this whole thing because they were talking to me on Marco Polo when I was actually the first days in the accident because I didn't have anybody there and they talked to me through it. They'd talk to me and they'd bring me like I would be like, I just remember, Connie, just talk to me. I need to hear your voice. And I'd get back on and I'd talk to him. So um, my heart is so full of love for you, my beautiful soul sister. She is my soul sister. When I didn't hear from you, I was in complete mess. I was very scared. When I finally heard from you, so much stress lifted off my heart. I am so blessed and grateful to have an amazing, strong warrior in my life. I love you, my girl. I do. I love you, Alice. You're so strong physically and mentally. You will get through this one day at a time. I am always here for you. I wish I could fly to you. I would stay there however long you needed me. Never forget that I am here and I understand the mental anguish you're going through. Reach out anytime. I got you. Sending you a big bear hug. Positive healing vibes and blessings. I'm sorry you're going through this. I wish I could heal you with a hug. Always your soul sister, Alice. I love you, Alice. You don't forget stuff like that. I mean, hopefully you never have to find out of going through an accident like that and getting like trauma like that. But you just don't forget stuff like that when when uh, they keep talking to you. And then and then your comments that everybody made on my on my videos. The only ones I've really been able to get out now are like my music videos, but I'm so glad to, I'm so glad to finally be filming this. This is from Susan Wallace, from Susan's Just Making It. She's got the hello, lovely. Oh, Hang in there. Oh, isn't that cool? And she's got all the, look at that, how pretty that card is. Hang mm -hmm. in there. Oh gosh, it's like, she, I think that's, I'm just sending you this little card to say hi. I am so sorry to have, hear that you have lost such a long road of recovery ahead of you. However, I am so glad that you survived the accident and will be all right. My thoughts and prayers are with you and Mark during this, during your recovery, sending tons of loves, and hugs, Susan. Oh, isn't that sweet? I wish I could hug you guys and tell you thank you. Isn't that nice? Yes. And this is from Ruth Simpson. Thank you, Ruth. Gosh, from all over the country. That's the front. Wishing you strength. I know you're going through a difficult time right now, Connie, but I hope you find some strength and comfort in knowing how many warm and special thoughts are going out to you. Feel better soon. You're in my thoughts and prayers. P.S. Mark is, P.S. Glad Mark is doing okay too. Look at that. You're getting love from all over too. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> This is from Erica Conger. And there it is. And she said, there's no quick way through tough times like this. However, it takes, but there are friends to lean on, laughter to help out, and to forget for a while, and sometimes a little grace shows that where we least expect it. Just a reminder that it won't last forever. That's the truth. Every day it gets better. But then I kind of seemed like I went back, didn't I? Yeah, for a couple of days you've been doing a lot of sleeping, but you had to do a lot of healing. Yeah. So, Dear Connie, yeah. just wanted you to know I'm thinking of you and Mark and sending you both all my love and prayers. Get well very soon. Love, Erica. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Erica. That's really nice. Oh... You're still here strong. Look at the stickers. You can do this. <laughs> if somebody would, that's from Janet. Janet Gamberling. 
Gemberly. She lives in Colorado. Get well soon. My sweet Connie, I am so heartbroken to know you're going through this. This sucks so bad. And there's nothing I can do to make you make you feel better, which even sucks worse. I can't even start to tell you how wonderful you are to me. Oh, and I'm sure many others. I just want you to heal quickly, comfortably as comfortable comfortable as po possible. Please call me if you may need or want anything. Anything you want or need. Love you, Janet. Janet. Oh, thank you so much. You are such a great friend. You really are. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to get to this, to opening your cards. I just have not felt, felt really up to it. But today I wanted to. Kim's happy place. Mm-hmm. She's put some butterflies on the back. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's pretty. See that purple rose? I love purple and blue roses. And another rose inside. Connie and Hubby, I was so sorry to hear about your accident. I'm sending tons of healing vibes and and energy and prayers your way. We're all thinking of you and wish you guys a speedy recovery. Love, Kim, from Kim's Happy Place. Thank you, Kim. So, how do you feel like you are in your recovery, honey? <clears throat> Getting a little better all the time. Today was kind of bad. Was it's, it? It's dizzy today. For yeah, reason. he gets an MRI, so we'll get out, get some more news about what's going on. This is from Wicked Awesome Lifestyle. Look at, I love the stickers. Avocado. <laughs> Those are so cute. Rest, rest, rest. What's this say? I don't have my glasses on. You don't on. have your glasses on? Took a nap. These are so cute. There's, let me see if I can hide out the... They're so cute. <laughs> well, I don't care if you have my address. There they are. Wishing you comfort. We are so very sorry to hear about your accident. Our hearts and prayers go out to you and your husband and your family. We are wishing you as speedy and as pain-free of recovery as possible. We cannot imagine the trauma that this has caused you and your family. If there is anything we can do, please let us know. We will definitely keep you in our thoughts and prayers. Hugs and kisses, Sherry and Erica of Wicked awesome lifestyle thank you girls thank you sherry thank you erica that is very sweet and yeah hydrate they got the <laughs> i love the stickers that's adorable see i already feel better i already feel better how's your eyes feel with your hydrogels on well they feel moisturized this is from Mary Beams Beams to Boyer. This is Mary Beams to Boyer. So much love. Oh, do you feel the love? Yes. Yeah, I do too. Hope you're back in the saddle soon. Ugh. Dear Connie, I was so sorry to hear about your accident and your injuries. I am hoping that you and your husband are feeling a bit better every day. You are in my thoughts and prayers. All the best, Mary B. 
Connie, and on the road to recovery, best wishes, Mary Beamsteboyer. Beamsteboyer. Thank you, Mary. We are feeling a little bit better every day. Don't you think? Yeah, I think so. This is by Phyllis Kaufman. Thank you all for the cards and the well wishes and the love. Mark is the official card opener. Healing, peace, and rest. Isn't that beautiful? You'll have to make me some someplace special. I can put my cards. Oh, look at that. Ooh, a shiny butterfly. That's so pretty. Praying God will give you all you need and take extra special care of you today and always. Oh, my dear Connie, my heart, my heart, thoughts and prayers are with you, sweetheart. No, there's nothing better that, that I can, than I can do than pray. And that's the truth. Because I'll tell you what, when I was in that bed, I felt, I felt the prayers. I felt them. I felt like people were by my side, like helping me through it because... It was, it was rough, and I felt a sense of comfort. I really did, because I didn't have anybody with me. Yeah. I had all my YouTube people with me, though, because um, Jesus is the help, healer. I love you, honey, and prayer, pray you heal quickly and fully. Love you bunches and bunches, Phyllis. Kaufman. Thank you, Phyllis. Oh, that just, my heart right now. This just did my heart so much good. I was feeling kind of crappy. I just got up, what is it? It was six o'clock. Yeah. I just got up from sleeping from last night, didn't I? Yep. At about nine o'clock. I stay up about four hours a day. That's about all I can muster of the strength to be up and about, it seems like. So, there's, this is Cindy Smith. Miss Cindy Smith, she lives all the way in Texas. As you're on your way to well. Hope all all the good wishes and warm thoughts being sent your way lift your spirits and help you speed your recovery along. Love and healing, Cindy Smith, YouTube friend. Thank you, Cindy. More than just YouTube friends, your YouTube family. Alma Kaiser. Alma always asks about me. She's on Facebook. She always wants to know. Look at that cute little dog on the back. She always wants to know how I'm doing. Get well soon, he says. I got my little guy right here. He likes to hang out on the hospital bed with me and boss me around, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a pretty bossy dog. Yeah. Get well soon. May each day of rest and recuperation bring you closer to good health. Oh, ho, ho. she knows I love my music. She goes, just want you to know you're kept in mind with special hope that you're feeling completely well again soon. Your YouTube friend, Alma. Alma, you're my, you're not just a friend. You're family to me. I know, T. T and... And Jen got the words out to let you guys know my addresses. Thank you, T. Thank you, Jen. Everybody, make sure you send special prayers to uh, Jen. Because right now she's going through a rough time. And this is from Mary Flanagan. Mary Catherine loves cats. And she put some stickers on there. She's got a cow and some cats. No, they're all cats. That's not a cow. 
Those are cats. And then she's got cats. Cats and the fish. And the hearts. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, that's super nice. Wow. Get well soon. Beautiful. You know how I love my hummingbirds. Mm -hmm. I love my hummingbirds. I missed a lot of them this year. She goes, maybe you'll be able to rest a bit with the mask. Dear Connie, hope you're feeling better each day and you'll soon be up and on your way. So many prayers for you. I'm thinking, I'm thanking God you are doing so well in Mark 2. God bless you, my friend. Love, Mary. Thank you, Mary. And bless you, too. Oh, I'm glad he's okay. He wasn't at first, he wasn't really. No, no, what? I was out there. He was out there for a while. When I first got home from the hospital, look at these, these are nice, wow. When I first got home from the hospital, I was expecting like Mark to be able to help me out. It wasn't like that. Mark was doing really rough, so kind of curled up in a ball and went to sleep for a few days. Then I spent a week having some anxiety and depression and then uh, I realized hey we've got to do this we've got to do this together so so I kind of snapped out of it but then I just started going to sleep what about a week and a half ago yeah yeah so I'm probably gonna get some tests done to see what's going on um look at this that's mm -hmm. like what you got on yeah. those hydrogels it's the grace and Stella Everything everything is better in pink. Huh? And then the the nourish. And the aloe vera, isn't that cool? Calming and soothing the aloe vera face mask. And the Super Beauty Mask, the Honey Jarrett yeah, Green I'm Apple. Right there. And the Nourish Flower Nectar. And it's biodegradable. Sheet mask and an echo pouch. So how about that? Hand me that the cards that go to that. Is there another card? No. It's from Kim and Eric. Well, that's okay. Okay. And then here is, this was from Amazon. It says, a gift for you. Hi, doll. I am so proud that you made it home already. The strength you possess is amazing. Keep doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> you're from Janet Gamberling. Thank you, Janet. And Janet got a sage smudging kit which i definitely need to smudge i like to smudge don't i yes you do go ahead and open this and we'll show them what what comes in i like to go through and, and uh um get rid of any negative energy in my home by smudging and you, you do that with sage and you walk around with your with your feather and and you say no negative energy can yeah. stay here only positive I used to smudge every time before we had band practice. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So this has, so I'm opening this up. Look at that. So this is the shell, an abalone shell. And this is the little thing that it sets on right there. Make this stand. Hold on to that for me. Taco's really curious about what's going on here. And then it has 
three three things of sage, three bunches of sage to burn, so I've got lots of smudging to do. Good thing, because I've got lots of smudging to do. I want to make sure I smudge my new car when I get a car. I haven't bothered getting a car yet because um, I can't drive one, and I discovered how to get in a truck, and then it's got the feather for blowing the, for taking the smoke. You take this, that you put, you light this, you light this and you put the smoke like if I lit this I would I would put this to mark and he would take his left hand and gather the smoke around him if I was smudging mark and then it looks like ooh, look at this oh look at that it came with a, a bracelet, too. Oh, Janet, thank you so much, honey. That is so pretty. Yeah. That is beautiful. And then it comes with a little, the smudging kit comes with a little, uh, instructions and it tells you how to do smudging instructions and blessings so that you can do blessings of your own throughout your house so we have one last card and this i'm going to let mark open it <laughs> has a picture of a dog it's from my sister and my in-law and my brother Oop. says we wanted to do something to make things a little rosier for you easier. guys easier. easier for you guys while you recover and it seems like <clears throat> the food is good here I don't have my glass finish read unfortunately they said they don't deliver to your address but they have takeout if you if you uh Aren't they have takeout if you aren't ready to go out? Get better soon, Mark and Connie. Sending serious get well vibes in your direction. Love Kim, Eric, and Ben. Thank you guys. What is it? The gift card to the wicked sister. Oh, no kidding. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? So that's really nice of them. I just want to say thank you for all the love, all the prayers all the well wishes, all the positive vibes, and uh, just thank everybody. You really made me feel a lot better. I was feeling like a little under the weather today. That that honestly did make me feel better. How about you, honey? Good, yes, it did. Yeah, so, okay. Well, I will see you soon, and thank you so much. Say bye, Taco. Say bye. Indian Taco says bye. He, no, he's growling at me. Yeah, I make him mad. I put him through too much. Mm. <laughs> so, all right. Take these off. You can take your hydrogels off. Do you feel hydrogelled? Oh, yeah. I feel all gelled up. All right. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.